Hello, friends, and welcome to r slash Tales from the Customer. And if you want to hear stories about the awful service and incompetent staff, you're in the right place. I hope you enjoy the new subreddit, and thank you very much to everyone who subscribes to the channel. And our first story. Disgruntled employee gives me big discount. Heads up, this is a bit long, but I think you guys will enjoy my experience at non-specific Big Mart store because of one awesome guy. Here's the cast. Me is me. SE is store employee. C is cashier. ASE is awesome store employee. M is manager. So I was in Toronto for my cousin's wedding and ripped my pants. So I decided to stop at a non-specific mart to get a replacement pair. Now I'm a big gamer and collector. So like always, I stopped by the electronic section to see if there were any games that were there for a good price. I walk back there and in the PlayStation section, I see a stand with a bunch of PS4 games on it that says three for $20. Now I couldn't really believe what I was seeing since the stand had scrat from Ice Age on it. So I think it was probably for old DVDs and the fact that PS4 games are rarely ever on sale for that cheap. So I decided to ask the employee that's at the back if the sign was correct. He said yes, that the sign was in fact correct. Upon hearing that, I grab a copy of Lego Marvel Super Heroes, Rainbow Six Siege, and Resident Evil 4, all of which had a sticker that said $24.98. I've got my haul, and I'm happy with what I have, and I decide to go to the self-checkout line. I scan them all through, and there's no discount being applied. So I cleared my order and tried a couple more times, but it still came up to around 80 bucks. So I asked the person watching the self-checkout line for assistance. I tell her about the games being three for $20 and ask her if she needs to punch in a coupon code or something. She just looks at me like I'm an idiot and the following conversation happens. Store employee. I'm sorry, sir, but that deal doesn't exist. Me. Well, there's a stand back there that says three for $20 though. And the guy back there said these would work with that. Store employee. No, sir. Look here. She then grabs one of the games and points at the price sticker. All of these games are $24.98. You can't buy them all for $20 because you think they should be three for 20. That's not how it works here. Me, I didn't decide anything. There's a stand back there that says this and the employee back there said these games apply. Store employee. No, sir, you're not listening. No such sale exists here. Now I saw that this conversation was going nowhere. So I apologized for wasting her time and bought the pants I had picked out. I then grabbed the games and went back to the electronics to talk to the employee back there. I got back there and found the employee and this conversation happened. Me. Hey, sorry to bug you, but the person at front thought I was making things up when I tried to get these and asked her about these games being three for 20. Awesome store employee. Oh yeah, sorry about that. I should have seen this coming when I set that stand up. The people here can be buttholes sometimes. That's why I quit. And I'm glad this is my last day here. If you go take a picture or video of the stand with the games on it and where it is, they'll have to give you those games for that price. Me. Oh, really? Well, thanks a bunch, man. I'll go do that. I wish him a good final day at work and tell him I hope he doesn't get in too much trouble for what he did. He tells me he doesn't care and that he's got another job lined up and that he lost all F's that he used to have about this place. So I go take a picture of the stand with the games on it, then take a 360 video to show that in fact the stand is in the PS4 section. I then make my way back to the front. This time I go to one of the cashiers and hand her the games. The following conversation happens. Cashier. All right, your total is around $80. Me. Actually, you guys have a stand back there that says these are all three for $20. She then looks at me, gives me the stink eye. Cashier. Sir, store employee already told you you can't just make up sales. We have set prices. Me. I have a picture right here, though. I pull out my phone and show her the picture and video I took. Cashier looks at me, then back to the picture and gives me the stink eye again. Cashier. Let me call my manager. Me. Sure thing. After about five minutes, the manager finally shows up. Thankfully, it was the express line with multiple registers, so I wasn't holding up any customers behind me. Manager, what's going on here? Cashier, he wants to buy all three of these games for $20. Manager, well, they all clearly say $24.98, though. Cashier, yeah, he has a picture of the stand in the electronic section. I show the manager the picture and the video I took, and his eyebrows raise a bit, and he excuses himself pretty quickly, says he'll be right back. Well, he was gone for about five to 10 minutes. So my guess was that he was taking down the signs that say three for $20 and asking awesome store employee why he did that. Then he comes back to us, 
Manager. Yeah, give him the discount. We have no choice. Then he walks away. Cashier gives me the stink eye again, then scans them through and starts tapping away at her monitor. Just to confirm, I ask cashier that they are, in fact, three for $20. She rolls her eyes, and I can clearly tell she's super annoyed with me. Cashier. Yes, we have to give it to you because you took a picture. The whole experience took longer than I would have liked, but when I saved 60 bucks on some PS4 games, I'd say it was worth it. I had a big smile on my face, and I knew that it was going to be a good day. Gluten-free now means lactose-free, according to one waitress. I just remembered this fiasco from a few years back. We were with a large party, 15-plus people, and chose a pancake restaurant that advertised with lactose-free pancakes. It was plastered all over the site. The walls, you get the gist. The lactose-free option was very important to us as we had two lactose-intolerant people and two vegans with us. My sister-in-law made a reservation a month in advance and made sure to say that we had four people who needed lactose-free pancakes. She emailed a few days later because one more person wanted to come who was in a wheelchair and again made sure they knew we had four people who can't eat normal pancakes. The person responding assured her it was fine. The cook and staff were notified and not to worry. She said in the email that we'd get a table on the ground floor due to the wheelchair person. My sister-in-law emailed again one week in advance so they wouldn't forget about us. When we went to the restaurant, we were greeted by a very nice hostess who happily informed us that we got the table with the very best view on the second floor by the window. We all stood there confused with the guy in the wheelchair right there who decided to speak up. How am I supposed to get up there? The hostess got a deer in the headlights look. Um, nobody told me about your situation. Please wait. I'll get a coworker. The co-worker who came pretty fast was a bit surprised at the table we were assigned and asked us if we informed them beforehand of the wheelchair user. Sister-in-law showed her the email and the co-worker was very apologetic but couldn't help us. The table up there is the only one we have that can fit your large party and the rest is already booked. You should have been informed of this when reserving your table. I'm sorry. The wheelchair user laughed the whole thing off and since he could walk short distances, he very slowly ascended the stairs with us all around him in case he fell. So we got off to a rocky start, but once we were seated, we got a very nice waitress who gave us great service, checked on us regularly, made sure we always had full glasses, and was very pleasant. We chose all you can eat, and at this restaurant, that meant that you order the pancakes you want, and whenever it's finished, the waitress comes to see what you want next. This was also stated when my sister-in-law booked, by the way. First round, four people order lactose-free pancakes, the rest regular. The waitress was surprised that we ordered lactose-free and said she wasn't sure the restaurant had the ingredients at the time. She checked and came back to take our orders. There was clearly a difference in color and texture when the pancakes came out, so we know for sure that we got the right ones. Second round, again, four orders for lactose-free. During the ordering process, the waitress said, okay, one pancake gluten-free, and we corrected her, saying it should be lactose-free. She fixed it, or so we thought, and later brought out the pancakes. The ones my boyfriend, lactose intolerant, got looked much darker than the others, but we thought maybe they burned a bit. When the waitress came to check on us, she said, and how's the gluten-free pancake? My boyfriend said, gluten, I ordered a lactose-free one. The waitress responded, gluten, lactose, all the same. This was a major red flag for us, and my sister-in-law asked her if she knew the difference. Waitress, they're just other words for that stuff in the bread, right? It's just a diet fad. She got a small lecture on the difference from my sister-in-law and seemed to understand that they were two different things. Third round. Three people order lactose-free. Nine ordered regular. A few were full. We got two lactose-free pancakes, two gluten-free. We asked the waitress if she could show us the order she wrote down to make sure there was no error on our part or the chef's. And she had really written down two gluten-free pancakes. We asked her to bring one back to the kitchen to swap it for lactose-free, making sure to mention the discomfort experienced by lactose intolerant people when ingesting lactose. She was happy to swap it out and returned with a gluten and lactose-free pancake. Oh, well, at least it's something, LOL. We joked all night about how my boyfriend should send that restaurant the bill for a new toilet. He gets the runs from lactose and left a bad review. What kind of restaurant advertises with stuff but doesn't actually educate their staff on it? Thank you so much for watching, and if you want to see more videos, click here. 
And if you like the videos, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. It's very important to me. We'll see you soon.